My brothers. Mm -hmm. We've got two brothers that are teachers. Three brothers. Where are they? They're in Eastern Cape. They're in Eastern Cape. Yeah, two are there in Fal. Mm -hmm. They're attending a function here in Fal. Them. Do you pray for your brothers? I do. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Most of them, there's challenges. Marriage wise, also. Sorry? I'm saying marriage wise. There's the challenges, but I'm sure, I'm sure through your prayers, God will help you. Amen. And you will go in the healing. Amen. God will heal Amen. Like your wife, those feet. Come on. Very, very painful. Amen. Baba, where is your child? Where is your son? I don't have a son. Mm. Only five you cried for a son. Mm. Mm. You cried to have a son, but even today. Mm. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. The old girls now. Yeah. Five lovely daughters. Amen. Girls. Amen. <laughs> so tell me about the church. I go to church. Mm. What church uh, is that? Um, we're going to get uh, New Living International in East London. Mm. Mm. But uh, when the COVID came, everybody you stopped. stopped. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I just saw this amazing God. Why could you even give me one side? I hear his prayer. Oh. But God, why not even one? Yeah. So you never lost a child, Mama? No. Mm. I never lost a, a boy child. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about a boy child. You never lost a child? I never lost it. I've lost one. You've lost a child, isn't it? In the early days, yes. Oh. yes. In my first pregnancy, I lost it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. That was, that was long ago. I, I I had to go back and tend to the old fights. <laughs> I think that was 1980. 1980. Five or eighty-six. Yes, I agree with. That's no problem. Uh, this week, this weekend is going to be a good weekend for you. Amen. Come, Mama, come. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Valindao Motolwana, and this is my wife Tandi. We're coming from the Eastern Cape. The greatest challenge we have, it's the marriage problem that we're facing to an extent that we're not living together since January this year. So we decided to come here 
for prayers. This has affected our marriage to an extent we're not, we're not, we're no longer staying together. Since the 25th of January, we, I was uh, issued with a protection order and I'm staying in my home in Ngobo. She's staying in East London at our house there with the kids. The main issue that brought me here is because my husband beats me. He beat me on the 25th of January. That is the reason why I gave him or I applied for an a protection order. I left him on the 25th of January after domestic violence. And then I went to East London. I'm staying there with my children. Now we are here because of that problem. We are no longer staying together, as he has already indicated. So we came here to one on one, as for us to hear what God has to say to us. Yes, uh, uh, because it's been he's been doing this for quite a long time. My left arm is broken. He broke it at some stage. So uh, I, I don't think um, 100% mentally, but by God's grace, I'm still here. So Prophet Andrews, on one on one, <coughs> prophesied, <coughs> he prophesied to me that um, uh, my family's got a, a marriage problem, me and my brothers and uh, I'll confirm that and uh, that I my business is not going and I also confirm that <laughs> I can't remember I was so overwhelmed because uh, you are speaking what I uh, some of things that I do know so there's a lot of things. Okay, let's take them. Let's pick up that one. You know, some things were for one on one. <laughs> for one on one. <laughs> uh, He even prophesied that I was, I had a problem, that I wanted a, a boy child, but I've got five lovely daughters. I said that was my problem. I agreed with the prophet. I don't. I don't. I think that's that. That's that. And we're coming. This thing the prophet told me was my aching feet. They are so aching, especially in the morning. He also told me about the child that I've lost years ago, early 80s, which was true. Blood pressure, which the doctors have not yet seen. He says it's coming up. But by God's grace, I hope I uh, will be healed. We are promised by his stripes, we are healed. No, we are going to see him even tomorrow. He also told me that I talk too much. I should, should have kept quiet sometimes <laughs> and speak to God. Pray for my husband to God and not talk too much, which I also agreed. Yes. And <laughs> so there was no way forward. He didn't say anything except. Or you were he told me to pray. Pray. 
He told me that I am from a family that, that from my family, it was not, uh, not expected of me to marry. That is why I experienced so many troubles and tribulations. Not to say for now. Nothing to say for now. Because I trust God. Really, I do trust God. I, I know that God is healing me. God is in the process of healing me. Because the prophet also told me that he, he can see. Uh, paper or no paper, I'm sitting right next to my wife. And I feel as if. I met her in 1983, and we were married in 1986. We over 30, 36 years wow. in marriage. Think of that. All of a sudden, we, we are separated. Mm. So I'm feeling great today. I thank God. Honestly, I thank God. And how would you encourage? Oh, I would say marriage is a God, God's gift. So every time they're facing any challenge, they should translate to God before they can even open their mouth, trying, trying, to, fix, trying to fix the marriage. God is there to help them. Amen. If, we do all the, all, if we take all our challenges to God, I think everything is isn't. Yeah, I, I encourage communication between themselves first, and, they, and then they pray together, pray to God together. I think communication is the key to everything. I think people, married, married people must sit down. There, there must be transparency. One must know what you don't like and must try to change. We are not the same. We are unique individuals. So we need to sit down. If we are, if we, if we are, we are experiencing problems, we need to sit down on a calm environment, speak out so that we don't burden ourselves with problems because they will burst out at the wrong time. I think the, the only solution that can help marriages is to pray for each other. Pray every time. Pray every, th every time so that you are not tempted. Prayer is, the, is key in marriages and loving each other, whether the sun ro rose in the west and sets in the east. Only third person on marriage is, God. is Jesus. God. If you allow any other person, then the ship will sink.